Beer O'Clock with a little spin-off series called Flavour of the Month, sponsored by the Little Leeds Beer House. My name is Mark, and joining me, as always, is my beer buddy, Steve. Hello, Steve. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, mate. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, and I'm very, very excited. <laughs> this is the second of our Flavour of the Month for the year. We're doing them every month, as the name suggests. And this week, we've got a beer that kind of passed me by the first time it came out, but it's out again now. It's brand new. It is... From Cloudwater, it's the Dipper version two. So, uh, Steve, you you had this last time it was out. Well, I, I had the first version of it. Yes, yes. There, there there have been some slight changes made to the second version, so it is it is a slightly different beer. Okay. Um, and but the first version was was a beer that I very much um, won the honour of being my beer of last year because it absolutely knocked my socks off. Right. Um, it's in terms of what I like from a double IPA, it was everything and more. Um, so I'm very, very hopeful that this uh, second incarnation of, of the beer will be just as good, to be honest with you, mate. And look at that lovely straw colour. Almost Beautiful, light yellow. It? Bubbly as fuck. Very, very funny head. Slight haze on it. Yeah. Oh. That's as juicy as anything. Those aromas, it's tropical fruits. There's some sherbet in there, some little bit of orange, big punchy flavours. There's a little bit, you're picking up a little bit of that stickiness on the aroma as well. A little bit of pineapple. Well, that smells it's, nice. It's, it's all the tropical fruits in one glass, mate. I mean, this is, I'm already excited. All right, well, I mean, I'm properly excited. These are only 10 minute episodes, so let's get into it, pal. It might not take us that long to drink it. <laughs> absolutely not. It's only, right. what, 9.5%? Let's, let's yeah. nail this. Roger, on we go. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Oh, it makes you pucker a little bit at the end. It is a bit puckery. Yeah. But beyond that immense, intense hopperness, lovely, light, sweet, fruity notes, flavours coming through. Yeah, it's it's big. It's sticky. <laughs> it's got all of the fruits in there. Um, <laughs> the ones that instantly leap to mind is a little bit of orange, a little bit of lemon, maybe some mango, some passion fruit going on in there. Um, all just fighting for the, the power in the glass, um, but the finish—it's—it's it's not, it's not so much bitter. It's just mouth puckeringly good. It's um, it really does make you work for, for to get the flavours on the finish. It does, yeah. I mean, for for me. An immense wall of bitterness, and I am having to like, suck the sweetness through the middle just to try and get to it. But, I mean, my bottle is very cold as well, but I'm still getting those flavours coming through. It's, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, abs- absolutely. It's, um, it, it's very difficult to try and think back to the first version of this. I mean, it was only the tail end of last year that they released the, 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 the Dipper. Um, it is a slightly different beer, though. The the, the flavours are slightly different in there. Okay. The, 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 the finish is possibly possibly not as well rounded as as the first version. I don't. Okay. I certainly don't remember the first one having that that mouth puckering finish to it because I think if I remember rightly, the the, the first version I managed to get in a in, in a in a flagon. Um. So I had like almost a liter of it. And I drained it in about 30 minutes, and I, I don't think I could have done that that with this version. But then again, that might be the difference, because obviously a flag and feel is, is, is sort of direct from Keg, and this is the bottled version that we're doing. And I don't think I had the original in, in the bottle, but it's an incredible beer. It, it really is. It's, it's tasty stuff. So what do you remember that was the standout from the previous version? I think for me it was it was quite literally 
almost bordering on being the perfect double IPA. Okay. Um, the flavours worked so well with one another. There was there's really good body to it. The finish was really soft and easy. Um, everything was just so balanced in it that it just worked perfectly for me. Mm-hmm. This, while it's good, I re- I, I honestly I'm, I don't think it's as good as the first one. I think. Um, I think I preferred the first one over this one. Not saying that it is it isn't as good, but for my taste buds, the the first one was 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 possibly a more enjoyable drink. Right. Okay. And what's what? what, what yeah, yeah. Get my words out. What's the difference between this one and the last one, as far as recipe goes? Do you know? Uh I I don't know. I I know Cloud Water um, wrote a, a blog about the original one and they were asking for people to to make suggestions on it and i know quite a lot of other brewers got involved and i think they took on board quite a lot of the feedback that they were given from from other brewers in terms of how could they make it better how could they change it what could they do about it um there i'm gonna take a punt i think that the ingredients are slightly different as well so i think there are different hops in this one to, Mm -hmm. to the original version as as well um but then that's that's something that that is is one of cloudwater's strengths they that they brew their beers based on what seasonal ingredients are inv- available so it's it's quite possible that the hops that they're using now in in february 2016 are are very very different from the hops that they were using 4 months ago mm-hmm. um so yeah um some slight differences in there um Probably could have done a little bit more research in, into what the differences were, but to be honest, I was so damn keen just to get the beer in me, uh, I, I couldn't be bothered with the research tonight because I just wanted to drink the stuff. Yeah, um, double IPA, not really the start kind of uh, the style of beer that you know I go mad for. It's pretty nice though. I'm getting some nice sweet fruits in there. I love beers that have that essence of pineapple. That's one of my favourite flavours. So when I get a beer that's got that coming through, you know, I'm, I'm quite sold. I, the bitterness, obviously, double IPA. I'm not a fan of the bitterness. It was if they had a version of this that was just an IPA, I'd probably like it a lot more. I'm sure I would. But it would have been really nice to have tried the the previous version. But I missed out because it seemed like it came on the scene. Everyone raved about it that it was gone. No, not available. <laughs> and and that's 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 going to be the same with this one. There's you, you know, there's not going to be a lot of it around. Um, so if if you're lucky to get your hands on a bottle of this or find it on keg somewhere, make sure you give it a go. I mean, you know, we've been we, we've been very lucky thanks to our friends up at the Little Leeds Beer House who made sure that they knew this was coming in. They gave us the nod and they were like, we've got your flavour of the month coming in. We think you're going to like it. <laughs> um, so, you, you know, they made sure we got our bottles. We, we, we've, you know, they, they've got them down to us as well and we're drinking them. With, yeah, this is... Thanks. This is inside of a week old as as well. This this beer now, so um, it's pretty much as as fresh as we could get it to to review for you guys tonight. Indeed, yeah, so, yeah. Big thanks to those. And on our weekly show, episode one thirty six coming out this Friday. There's an interview at the end with Bryony from the Little Lee's Beer House. He goes into all that kind of stuff that Steve did when he was up there in Leeds, his second home. It's <laughs> rapidly become a second home, and um, if if you do want the the, the lowdown on Cloudwater Brewery as well, we did do quite an in depth interview with Paul from Cloudwater back on episode 122. So, so so go back and check that out because Paul will tell you more about Cloudwater than I could ever hope to um, in, in in a quick 10 minute segment. And that was a pretty good interview as well, wasn't it? It was it was a stunning interview. You know, they've they've literally just turned uh, they turned a week old on Valentine's Day, not a, a week old, they, a year old. <laughs> yeah, and they're doing so well for a week old brewery. Absolutely, no, they turned turned a year old on on Valentine's Day. So you know, for a brewery that have only really been putting beers out for a year, uh, we've said this before. You can't move uh, at the moment without noticing cloud water. So um, if you ever see one of their beers, don't pass it up. Indeed. So any. Um... As I said earlier, this is quick review, 10-minute episode, if that. Any closing remarks on the Cloudwater Dipper V2? It's 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 lovely. I mean, re- regardless of, of what I said about preferring the, the, the first version, 
in, in terms of what you look for in a dipper, it's it's everything's in there. Everything's dialed up. The flavors are dialed up. The finish is dialed up. The mouthfeel, the body, everything is dialed up. It's big, thick, tropical, juicy. Everything that I want in my glass with the label dipper written all over it. Yeah, it. I mean, incredibly hot forward, as you would expect from a dipper. Not much malt body there whatsoever, so it's very light, very drinkable. If you love bitter beers, if you love double IPAs, check it out. And if you love beers that have that element of citrus, pineapple sweetness, this will be straight up your street as well. Um, we'll be back with another flavor of the month. Next month, we have no idea what we're drinking. It's the guys up at Little Leeds Beer House are just... Hey, you want to try this one for this month? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so Why a big not? thanks. We'll give it a go. Yeah, a big thanks to the Little Leeds Beer House. He very kindly agreed to stock or rather provide the beers that we're doing on these every single month. And you can find out more about them at littleleedsbeerhouse.co.uk. And I think they're on Twitter as well. What's the Twitter address? Do you know if you have uh, it? Uh, at Little Leeds Beer. There you go. Right. Normal show coming out every Friday. We're in season nine at the moment. Next one of these will be out around about this time next month. So until then, Steve. It's been the highlight of my month. Me too. <laughs> Cheerio. Bye. <laughs>